Well, it is, uh, at least for us here in the United States, it is Thanksgiving week. That's right. It is, which is uh, one of my favorite times of the year. I love a good time. I love all the holidays, but Thanksgiving is always so nice getting together. and uh, Well, especially, I guess, both the holidays coming up. It usually revolves around family getting together, family. which always makes me very happy. Uh, I'm very lucky to have all the people that I do in my life and also the yes, amount of... Uh, family that are here in town and the, the proximity, that, yes, yeah, the proximity and the important. people that do come from out of town is just awesome. But then on top of all that, it also just turns into a wonderful fountain of uh, new beverages that everyone decides to bring over. Delicious and food and them. delicious beverages. Yeah, and yep. that just can't get any better. So, with that in mind, we've uh, got a uh, a farmhouse saison. Okay. Is that what they're calling this? Yeah. Is that what they call this thing? They had no. this at the first Thanksgiving. <laughs> they did. Uh-huh. There was there was corn. Turkey and a farmhouse saison. Farmhouse saison. <laughs> farmhouse that's saison. Right. <laughs> so that's what we've got for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And uh, we are about beverages.com. And on this Thanksgiving week, we the beverage we are about is the Hennepin from a Brewery Oma Gang, which is in Cooperstown, New York. Cooperstown now known for two things, actually. Uh, this brewery and, baseball of hall course, of the Baseball Hall of Fame. Nice. So, But it's a very small town, if you've ever... I've never actually I haven't visited been, in a long time. Have you been to the Baseball Hall of Fame? I have. How was, was that? Uh, was that pretty cool? 18 years ago now, but... Wow. It was, it was fun. I'm sure it's changed a lot in those 18 years, but I was surprised at how small the town actually is. And, um, uh, yeah, all of a sudden, there you are. You're, you're going through the town. <laughs> I there wonder why it was chosen then. You would think such a small I destination out of the way. I honestly don't know why Cooperstown was chosen. Unless, wait, that wasn't, no, baseball wasn't invented there. Another why was Cooperstown of. chosen? I don't, know. I don't know. So, anyways. maybe If you so, know, let, let us know. know. We're big baseball fans. <laughs> and yeah. We're stumped at the moment, so help us out. But, uh, so anyways, the, this is, a, as you said, a farmhouse saison. Yes, uh, those, uh, I'm not terribly familiar with the style. I know we've had a couple of them in the past. I think it's some of the beer tastings that we've done. Yeah. We've had some farmhouse uh, type ales. And uh, Omagang, Omagang is a brewery that I have heard about a lot. And it seems like they always are doing really good stuff. So uh, I thought I'd finally uh, pick one of these up because it was pretty reasonably priced. Maybe that's kind of what grabbed me first. It's seven ninety nine for this for this uh, bomber. And uh, got seemed to be getting some pretty some pretty good uh, scores and things, so that uh, interested me. And this is their old school label. Yeah, definitely. That's all I've seen so far. But I we've we've both read, and and their website actually has an updated version of this label, and their whole uh, line has undergone an uh, an update. Yeah, and so, actually, this funny is the that, old school. Yeah, funny that we're kind of talking about history with Thanksgiving and stuff. The new logo almost kind of looks like two guys like in a boat, like. Lewis and Clark kind of looking like frontier land, like holding up a, a glass. <laughs> it's funny though; they actually are holding up like a, <laughs> a tulip glass. like a tulip glass, and it's like, wow, they're they're roughing it in the frontier, but you know they still need to have the finer thing. That was apparently. on the checklist. No. <laughs> it was, <laughs> you know, drinking water, food, Mus- musket, sleeping bag, musket, tulip glass, <laughs> tulip glass. It was right up there. <laughs> tulip glass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, wow, I didn't even, you know, I actually had kind of forgotten about, uh, so we got a cork on this one. Uh-oh, so this always can be terribly exciting. Oh, hopefully not yeah, too I may, exciting. I may, may move my iPad over yeah. a little bit. Yeah, protect. I may move my iPad. Right, hopefully this doesn't take as long as uh, when we were doing the uh, Sour Beer Podcast. Yeah, last and, time on that Oh, one. actually, I can tell it's not already. Okay. I've had it up the whole time, so. Mm, that's what she said. <laughs> Wait, no, no. Wait, no, I hope not. <laughs> hopefully she didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. She was happy to hear you say that? Oh. Back and forth. Uh, no, it's it's gonna come out very easily. I was worried about the aftermath. Sorry. Oh, listen to you I'm slowly letting out the to, air pressure. So oh, there! I just did not. <laughs> that was about the worst thing I could think of at the time. A whimper. Wow, oh, that sounds like a good foley effect right there. A little fake sound <laughs> effect. Look, 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 look. I don't know if the mic picked up on that at all, but that was funny. Wow, very loud carbonation. <laughs> My ears. No. <laughs> Can almost hear the ocean. You know, that's that's really loud carbonation. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's it's audible carbonation. Audible carbonation. I may have to put that in the tasting notes. <laughs> I think you will. Wow, along with uh, carbonation, along with clear, clear gold, clear gold, and vi- but the the carbonation is audible but mild in. Yeah, appearance. actually, you know what? You're right. It's it's very fast moving bubbles, but there is not a lot of them, as yeah. many as you'd think from what I, we right, just heard. Right. Well, they were under pressure, but they're no longer under That's pressure. That's right. So they're I'm sure they're they had relaxed. some sort of cosmic rationale. 
pressure. I was thinking Queen and David Bowie. Oh, you okay. Went, you went Billy Joel. I That's did. Good. Both good pressure-based songs. Yeah, you could have gone under pressure. Doon, 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 doon. Wow, and we had a Vanilla Ice no, reference. No, yeah, we don't need another one of those. You just did. <laughs> you did it. No. <laughs> Oh, no, that's not the same song. Sure. Yeah. Sure, oh, buddy. There's an extra note in there. Yeah, sure, buddy. That's a wonderful, bright aroma. Yeah, but there, it's, there's a there's a fruit. Oh, definitely. There's, there's yeah. a lemony. There's definitely lemony a lemon. Citrus. Little, maybe even a little banana in there. Yeah, probably some banana essence. But yeah, definitely some well. very nice, yeah, definitely very nice lemon, little banana. Just that, yeah, the slightest bit of funk or whatever we want to say. Yeah, there's but, a little, there's bad. a little, well, and that's kind of, that's, you know, that's to the style of these farmhouse kind right. of ales. Like I said, there is going to be that, like I said, when you see that word compared with, say, I mean, because Saison doesn't necessarily impart that, but the word farmhouse with it does. Right. And that's the kind of, you should expect a little bit of that at the end. Yeah. Maybe not as much as like a sour that's like, you know, just dumping in Brettanomyces like we had that. One that was not so good, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Recently, the that, Brett, uh, yeah, that yeah, the Brett beer from uh, that was also from New Belgium. That was from in their New Belgium, yeah. That was in that series, uh, the uh, the Lips of Faith. Thank you, the Lips of Faith yes. series, uh, part of that. But like I said, but when you see that in there, you're going to get a little bit of that at the end. But then yeah. the saison part definitely comes in because you're getting those nice little sweet. You're getting some of the other things in there and a little bit of fruit. So that's a, a very good balanced aroma. I yeah. like it. I like that too. You know, I don't think we mentioned the uh, alcohol in this one. Did you? Seven point seven percent. Oh, okay. And the price? Oh, you, we did talk about the price. Yeah, we did talk about the and price availability. This is a year round. Yeah, I see this uh, all the time. Yeah. Like I said, hopefully soon with the new label. They and they have a lot of other that they offer, but you, you can always usually find this one. And then there's their other with the maroon they have one, label on it. I was just it gonna too. say, yeah, you see that maroon one label on it. Too. Yeah. You know, I don't know whether my palate is changing back toward a style like this, but. There was a time where I remember having one of these, and I was thinking, "Eh, I'm not really." How was that? Eh. Going that down eh. there, yeah. But the, but this doesn't have the the fruitiness doesn't carry through, or the citrus doesn't carry th through to me as much. Um, but there's some spice and the, the funk. It's light. the The carbonation is strong. Yeah, but not. I don't know. Not overly, to me though. It's not bad, but the carbonation to me, like I said, I think. Anything less than strong would be you would be a liar. This is I mean that's I mean that's bubbly and effervescent. I mean that's that's some strong carbonation. But it's weird though, you don't see it's also, it though. No, but it and it's kinda it's to me it's, it's at the front of my tongue. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, more of it okay. more of it there on yeah. the initial sip, you're like, Oh my gosh, that is yeah. just so lively and that it, it does fade fairly quickly, but it's I mean yeah. it's some sharp, intense carbonation at the beginning. Yeah. But I don't but it's not to me this beer is And you can is, see every time you swirl it. This beer is low in the palate to me. It's not like the high, the citrus, or or, or it's it's just kind of goes back, stays kind of rides the tongue into the into the throat, to me. It does. It, you can almost feel it, like because I'm still getting some of the citrus at the back, the very back, uh, like it's almost like a lime, a lime lemon kind of thing, and I feel like it almost like you can almost tell by like the vapors, like that it's going to go up and then it just rounds yeah, and goes down, just stays down. So yeah, but it, I I like it. That's yeah, quite I do too. And like I said, my, I don't know if my Style is just going that way, or maybe my, you know, a palate's maturing, or whatever. But yeah, I I really enjoyed that. And this actually would be a uh, it's maybe a little too late. Maybe you can run out and get a bottle. This actually would be a good beer to have at Thanksgiving with Thanksgiving dinner, actually, because it would go. Yeah, I think it would go well with turkey. It would it would could stand up to stuffing. It could it could sort of transcend and yeah, that carbonation, the, sa the savoriness that's in there, right? Yeah, and that carbonation would sort of help. With some keep of the fattier palate, things, yeah, too, a little bit. Keep your palate alive. That's and, a great uh, point, and actually. That actually would be, and, and I, I knew we knew we were planning that this would be our beer for this week. I don't, don't think we knew how well this could actually <laughs> no, work I, I didn't. with, um, with the, the foods of Thanksgiving. Yeah, that actually would work really well. That's, that's a great point, because all the things that we do have, it works with, I mean, because it's, it's almost kind of down the middle. With it not not boring in its flavor profile, no. it's very good. But it's it's good and down the middle where it could like savory things are going to work well with it. Sweeter things are going to work Sweet well potatoes. with it. Potatoes, tart. It's got a little bit of everything yeah. where you'll you know depending on what bite of food you're having, you're going to notice a little bit more of oh now I taste a little more of this. Well now I get a little more citrus. Yeah. Now I get a little more of you know 
the other things the, uh, that are in. Uh, uh, actually, uh, would have a very. Uh, are you putting out a call for this? Would you like? Would you like this to show up? At I your don't house, know about saying? that. I, I, I mean, oh, I wait, wouldn't. No, I wouldn't be. Uh, no, I wouldn't be. Uh, <laughs> it, I wouldn't be adverse to that. I usually think of wines more, but this. That actually might be a good idea, actually, to have something like that available. But I, know, I can't think of anybody else who would drink it. And I'd hate to open it and, you know, me have, like, a couple sips and then think, Well, because oh, it would wine. be, like, literally the glass we poured, you know, about a half about half full of this would be nice. You could get about four servings out of this. Yeah. And that would actually be a nice amount to be sipping with. Yeah. You know, because it's not something you want to desperately chug. No, and it is a 25. It's, you know, same size as a wine bottle. So, uh, hmm. You don't think anyone, I'm trying to think, yeah, I guess, maybe mom would probably might have some. She might, I she think might. she might appreciate it. Huh. I don't think there's too much of that. At the, well, might be. Too maybe much. our pals have gotten used to it where we don't mind a little bit of that. Yeah. Maybe that would immediately, for most people, be like, yeah. what is that at the back? I mean, that would even, you could even uh, drink that with pumpkin pie. I think. Because the yeah. spiciness of the pumpkin uh-huh. pie, you've got the, 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 the pumpkin itself yeah. giving you those... Yeah, yeah, I think that would work very well. Made a new discovery. Wow, how did we know that this was actually a good Thanksgiving <laughs> beer? If you don't want to, if you uh, want to mix it up and not do the wine or do something in addition to wine, this uh, this could be your thing. Our Thanksgiving beer recommendation. Go wow. with the Hennepin. And uh, even though there is only a couple days left, I am always still up for recommendations. If you have a wine that you like to, that you this is the wine I always bring over the table at Thanksgiving. I definitely am always up for that because. Uh, I always have trouble around the holidays picking I'm like, because I always want to find something different, but at the same time, sometimes that can be frustrating because then you pick something and it turns out not to be good. So that really you feel sucked. bad. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. so there's a little bit of that. So then it's like, oh, good. Andrew brought over that again. No, no, no. It's, it's, I've heard it's you never say the that. Feeling. Yeah, well, it's usually a little farther no, away. I say, oh, it, good. You brought over those chocolate pies again. Oh, that's and true. The stuffing. I, and of I will, course I always say You that. know that'll happen. Okay. Yeah, that's delicious. That will uh, always happen. And what will always uh, be going on is that you can go to aboutbeverages.com to find out the uh, tasting notes as well as where this hits on our recommendation scale. This wonderful, we've got to try some more stuff from this brewery. We will. And we should. We should. We should. We should. And we will. will. And uh, also, while you're there, uh, definitely let us know your recommendations of things that you're having around the holidays, either uh, placing a comment on the website or if you uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. Put a comment here at the bottom of the page. We will see all those as well. Follow us on Twitter. Become a fan of us on Facebook. Uh, follow us on Untapped. There's all these different places where you can get in touch with us and say, oh my gosh, how have you not tried this? And guess what? We will try it. We will. Absolutely. Even if we have to get it. We will trust you that it yes. was good and we will just get it. And we'll be even happier if you want to you know, somehow get the item to us. But hey. Yeah. No. That's nitpicking. That is nitpicking. <laughs> and uh, to all of our listeners and viewers out there, hopefully you have a nice, uh, happy, and safe Thanksgiving as well as we head into the holidays. And uh, yeah, keep looking out for uh, more videos. But whether we like it or not, you should give it a happy Thanksgiving shot. <laughs> <laughs>